Hey, quick little video on uh, repairing a Honda GCV 160. Uh, it's a Troy built lawnmower. It's a common lawnmower engine. Um, even the Briggs and Stratton's are very similar to this, but uh, this lawnmower was running fine and then suddenly stopped working and then we couldn't get it to crank. Uh, it turns out it, that it's the ignition coil, which is this part. And I want to show you really quickly how to detect or figure out if that's indeed the case or if it's something else. So um, on this particular lawnmower there were three three nuts on the top that pulls off the little pull cord. The start cord and the entire shroud here which is the gas can, the gas container, everything all in one just pulls off and it reveals where the original ignition coil was here. Okay so the ignition coil has a ground wire that comes, connects to this terminal. It goes back, it routes underneath to a little ignition grounding switch so that when you pull the lever on the back and it pulls tension on this, it engages, it presses this little switch button here. And if that is pushed in when you're grabbing the handle, then it releases the ground from the coil. So it essentially basically disconnects this. And that's what shuts the lawnmower off. So in order to run, this can't be grounded out. Two bolts hold this coil on. We pull it off. You need a multimeter. Very simple. This is an inexpensive Harbor, Harbor Freight multimeter. I don't know. These are like five, six bucks. They're super cheap. Um, we want to set it on ohms to measure resistance. I've got it set on 20,000 to see. So when the circuit is open, when there's no resistance, I'm sorry, when there's infinite resistance, when there's when these two are not touching, when there's no continuity, you have a reading of one. And then when they when they actually touch, you should have zero. So an ignition coil should have some amount of resistance in between the spark plug wire and the housing. So we're gonna hook that up and see if we can't show how on this particular one there's no continuity. So you're gonna put the positive lead, I only have two hands and I'm trying to hold the phone so it's hard to do, but you're gonna put the positive lead, you're gonna wedge it and make sure it's making contact in here with the terminal end that goes on the, uh, the plug. And then you're gonna take the second lead and see here and see if you have any continuity. And no, it's still, still an open circuit. So now let's set it up on the other one. Okay, so now I've got the new coil, which I just bought. This is about $22. Um, open, you can see it's still reading one. Start touching here, and look, lo and behold, hey, we have 9,000 ohms. So we have continuity. The lawnmower should run. That's pretty much it. That's all you really need to do to check a coil. You're going to get one of two, two bad readings. You're going to get a short or an open circuit. And, uh, my money's on open circuit is the more common of the two. So it's the continuity between the spark plug lead and the body of the coil, which is the same thing we tested here. The old coil is dead, has no continuity at all between these two. This one has continuity, but it has resistance, which is what you want. And there it is. So we know that, let me uh, go back and do the other one, show you again. So now I'm connected to the old one. And we're gonna touch and see Nothing, nada, dead. So this one is toast, it's junk. All we have to do is take the new one, bolt the new one in place, put the shroud and everything back on, it should fire right up. One last thing, uh, the coil needs to be spaced off of the, the flywheel from the magneto. So you can use a business card that's about eight thousandths, ten thousandths or so, and that's uh, that's as far as you need it to be so that's about the width of a stack of maybe four or five pieces of paper or, or a business card and then once you do that um, that sets the gap on the on the coil to the to the magneto and let's see if we got success
Yeah, I like that. Good luck.